Kale, Dwarf Blue Curled. The kale that I said I was gonna pull up, so I didn't. I didn't pull it up. I had nothing to put here, so I figured, ah, oh, I'll just let them sit and uh, see what happens. And uh, for the most part, they kept growing. Um, yeah, they, some of them got pretty big. That one right there is about two foot tall. Uh, you can see I harvested this one uh, about a week ago, so that's still uh, leafing out. Now, some of it had gone to seed, like this one. You can see where I snapped off the, uh, the flower stalk. Now, supposedly when they go to seed, they, taste, they start to taste bitter. So what I do is I just, I harvest the leaf and I just, uh, just get a piece of the stem and just chew on it a little bit. And if it tastes bitter, I just pull up the whole plant and throw it away. But if it tastes okay, why not keep it growing? Um, I've only had to uh, throw away one plant from her bitterness, which is uh, pretty amazing. You know, a lot of people just assume that when they go to seed that they're no good and they just throw them away. But in actuality, they can, they can still taste pretty good uh, long after they've uh, start putting up uh, seed stalks. Um, they've pretty much grown all by themselves with uh, no intervention for me except for the occasional watering. Um, the only thing I've noticed is the uh, aphids. Got some aphids on there, you know, which you would expect. You know, just the normal aphids. You, know, you give it a good washing, they come right off. And I've been uh, juicing these. You, know, you take uh, a whole head, like I did to that one, run it through the juicer, you get uh, three or four ounces of uh, high potency juice with uh, all the vitamins and minerals in it. And you don't have to worry about, well, you wash them off as much as you can, but they shouldn't get through the uh, juicing process anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I grew these. They're... Uh, some weird stuff though. Uh, if you watched my video from many months ago, you see that some of them were pretty small. Well, the ones that were small stayed small. They didn't die, but they didn't thrive either. They're just sort of there, which is odd. You would think that it would either grow or die, but um, no. They just uh, decided, hey, I'm gonna dwarf plant, I'm gonna stay a dwarf. Um, I was hoping that, you know, with a little bit warmer weather, they would start taking off, but no, they didn't. But the ones that got big, got big. Like I said, this one got, this one's about two foot tall. And these are pretty big. Uh, this one's got a nice stalk on it. Look at this. Look at the leaves on this one. I don't know if you can see it through the video, but it's like a silver blue color. It's uh, very attractive, very healthy looking. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm just gonna keep them growing for as long as they're willing to grow. And uh, when they're done with that, I'll pull them up. Uh, re uh, Revigorize the soil and plant them again in uh, September.